Well hello folks, so uh, in this video I'm gonna tell you how to create Joker movie look in Photoshop. As we all know, the movie had a great color grading that makes people amazed with it. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it. So this is the photo that I'm going to work with and this is the photo to be our reverence. So we just want to recreate this exact look in Photoshop. Firstly we want the layer to be smart object by simply right click on it and convert to smart object. And go to filter, camera raw filter. Also I want to tell you that here I just want to tell you about the concept of this look. That's why I just pick a random photo from my gallery. Because each photo that we have needs a different contrast, highlight and everything. Just make as creative as you can. I just going to tell the concept of this look. Ok now I'm going to drag the contrast up to around 30 and I want the highlight to go down to maybe around negative 40 and the shadow I'm going to change it to negative 5 negative 5 is good and for the whites and blacks I have a technique for you to decide the perfect white and black for your photos by just simply holding alt and drag your white and blacks so i'm holding alt and i'm going to drag the whites to the right and there's kind of have a light popping up and we need to drag it down until it's completely black around here and the blacks too I'm going to drag it to left until there's a popping black color and then just go right until everything's just white okay that's how the trick you decide uh, the whites and blacks for your photos also you can just see it on the top right corner there are two indicators that gonna turn white if it thinks it is too much lights for your photo so like this just gonna drag it to the left until it's just go black and then just release the same with the black just gonna do it like this and stop that's it now change the clarity up to around for me, I'm going to work with plus 12, I think it's good. And that's it for the basic correction. And again, every photo needs different color correction. So this is the color correction for this photo. Now we need to go to the tone curve. Select the point tone curve. Change the curve to custom and we need to drag the bottom point up a little bit so this point I'm going to drag it up a little bit I think I'm going with the input zero and the output 5 then drag the top point down this point down until the output is Mm, for my photo, it's around input 255 and output 194. Create a dot around here and drag it down a bit with the input. For me, it's gonna be around here the input 71 and the output 57 and create another dot here and drag it up until you feel good for me it's the input 187 and 153 
and we're done with the tone curve. Now go to split toning, and here is where we create the green look for our photos. So change the hue for the shadows to around 100, 160, somewhere around here. And then drag the saturation to around 60 or 50. I'm going with uh, 55. But it's too green for the photo, it looks weird. No. Don't worry, the only thing we need to do is drag the balance up. For my photo here, I'm gonna change it to 100. Okay, if your photo has to pop up color, just go to Edge SL, Adjustment, choose the saturation and drag the too much popping up color down. For me, I think I'm just gonna drag down the reds to around negative 30, then the orange, I think, to around negative 20, and the yellow to around negative 30, around there. So that's it. That's it for your HSL adjustment. Now just for the last touch, we need the object to be focused by selecting radial filter here and we need to create a circle around your object somewhere here so I'm gonna drag it down make sure the feather is around 25 and then if you want to see uh, the feather just click on this mask here we go if you feel like you want to drag it here or somewhere just pointing it to your object so after you're done with this you need to drag your sharpness to negative 100 so that the object is more focused now deselect the mask and you'll see that there is a difference of the background there just make it negative 100 and you'll be okay I'm gonna click this gonna back it up and then go to face and make a vignette amount to around negative 10 is okay and we're done the last thing you need to do is press it okay have the joker movie look this concept is not just for photoshop but also other software like premiere pro or even lightroom so this is the before and this is the after if you want to go back to the correction simply double click on that camera roll filter and change everything that you feel a little bit off. So that's how you recreate the Joker look in Photoshop. If you have any question or suggestion, just say it in the comment section below. Make as creative as you can. Hope this video helps you. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, stay creative.